Hello everyone, this is an intelligent analyst and today I'm going to talk about an interesting book and the name of the book is India's Most Fearless Part 1. The Indian Army is known as one of the most battle hardened armies. We have participated in world wars, UN peacekeeping missions and multiple all-out wars against our neighbors. We have several books on heroes who fought in these wars and showed extreme acts of bravery and valor. But these wars were not the only times our heroes showed the metal they were made of. Our consistent struggle with neighbors introduced us to many more heroes to be proud of. Shivarur and Rahul Singh tried to tell a few stories of these modern time heroes in their first book from the franchisee India's Most Fearless. Authors Shivarur is an Indian journalist and author. He is an editor and anchor at India Today TV channel. He is also a defense correspondent having done conflict reporting from defense zones such as Kashmir, Sri Lanka and Libya. He wrote the fictional book Operation Jinnah in 2017 and co-authored India's Most Fearless Part 1 and 2. Rahul Singh is a senior associate editor with Hindustan Times and has covered defense and military affairs for all two decades. Apart from extensive and deep reporting from the world of the Indian military, including several new breaks that have set the national news agenda over the years, Rahul has reported from conflict zones including Kashmir, India's Northeast and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Positives. The best thing about the book is the concept. The heroes of peacetime are not very often talked about and usually become more of news reports. While it is important to remember and revere our war heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice to defend our motherland, we should also give equal value to those who are laying their lives every day to protect our nation from enemies. India's most fearless part 1 has a total of 14 stories of our modern day heroes. The stories that could find their place in this book are not limited to just the army. We see stories from Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy as well. Authors mostly try to cover the stories from elite forces like Para-SF, Marcos and fighter pilots. Initially, we see stories of Indian commandos and the operations they led or were part of to eliminate the terrorists or I better place them as enemies of the Indian state. The authors rightly covered the details of the operations and the soldiers involved. They neither revealed too many details that can risk the lives of the people involved nor let the tell get ruined with very little information. Later, they covered stories from Indian Air Force and Indian Navy of saving crucial equipment, saving lives and showing the prowess of their critical mind in times of extreme danger. I like the way they took the story progression route. They started almost every story from the middle of the story or some dangerous situation. Then they would turn to the beginning of the event and how the story led to the grave situation. Then they would talk about the background of the protagonist and help us connect with them. Then they would lead us to the conclusion of the story and give after story notes. It is one of the best ways of storytelling. The authors rightly and smartly use it while telling us the tales. This writing was well and easy to understand. The authors did not try to be too technical or stay reader friendly. I loved all the stories and went through several emotions while reading one of them and each one of them. I could never stop before completing any story and keep feeling the thrill throughout. I, being from the army background, could relate to the stories and understand the importance of the heroes who never ask anything in return, but honor. Negatives. I do not have any complaints from the authors regarding the stories they covered, but it is sad and depressing to see the stories of soldiers who were eventually martyred and could not return home alive. I want to know about the living legends and some parts of their one-on-one -on -one interviews. I would like to know how they survived and kept motivating their fellow brothers. They covered a few stories in the book, but I would like to get to know more. Conclusion. I'll give 445 out of 5 stars to India's Most Fearless Part 1. It is an important book to read and talk about. We need to know more about our heroes and make sure we keep retelling their stories. We should prepare the next generation to take up this responsibility as such books are the way forward. Part 3 of the book is already out and I am excited to share my thoughts on Part 2 and 3 real soon. And that is all for today guys. Thank you so much for listening. This is again an intelligent analyst. If you like it, give it a like, share with your friends and please subscribe. Signing out, an intelligent analyst.